March 7, 1945. In an extraordinary turn of events, a single bridge across the Rhine River is captured intact by the US 9th Armored Division. German forces desperately establish new pockets of defense along the length of the Rhine River in an effort to slow the Allies' advance. Then, on March 24th, a massive assault is unleashed by Allied airborne divisions to secure positions east of the Rhine. At the same time, at various points up and down the river, more Allied forces prepare to make their own crossings into the heart of Germany.
Admiral Taylor! Try to approach the tanks from the side! Use your TNT! job, you guys. We took on the best troops Germany had to offer and sent them running for their mamas up and down the Rhine. I'm proud to serve with you men. You're all good rangers, that's for damn sure. Sergeant Randall, one more thing. I don't know about the gentleman part, but how'd you like to be an officer? I'm offering you a field commission as a lieutenant. Good leaders are hard to come by. What do you say? Well, I'd be honored, sir. But the thing is, we'd be short of sergeant. Corporal Taylor here, he might be worth looking at. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind, Lieutenant. See to your men. Dismissed. April 16th, 1945. The Soviet Red Army commences its attack on Berlin, the capital city of Nazi Germany. Half a million soldiers and civilians alike perish in a terrible battle that lasts for nearly three weeks. As the Allied forces converge on Berlin from both east and west, the Nazi leadership begins to crumble under the weight of imminent defeat. On the 8th of May, 1945, the German armed forces surrender unconditionally to the Allies. At a cost of 50 million deaths, the war in Europe is finally over. Throughout the Allied nations, Victory in Europe Day is officially celebrated, marking the defeat of Nazi Germany and the fall of the Third Reich. <laughs>